55-year-old Jack Harlan has been sentenced to life behind bars after lewdly assaulting an 86-year-old woman two years ago. The incident occurred at around 7am on the 12th of February 2020, located at 9611 Truscan Drive in Houston, Texas, when John knocked on the victim's door. The woman had broken her hip the day before and she wouldn't answer the door. Jack then went around to the back of the residence and picked up a small lawn statue and used it to break into a sliding door. After entering her home, he started beating and violating her for approximately four hours. The woman tried following his orders because she feared for her life if she didn't. He beat her so badly that she suffered a broken vertebrae and he knocked out her teeth. While Jack took rest breaks during the assault, it was during this time that her granddaughter called and she was able to get to the phone in time to tell her about the incident. The granddaughter contacted the authorities, and when they arrived at the scene, they found Jack undressed in her bedroom and he was arrested. On the 17th of May 2022, Jack was sentenced to life in prison after being convicted in the attack. 11-year-old Kahara Tay was fatally hit with a stray bullet when people riding a scooter opened fire that was meant for someone else. The incident occurred at around 4.50pm on the 16th of May 2022. When the authorities responded to reports of shots fired, located at Westchester Avenue and Fox Street in the Bronx, New York, where they found Kaihara with a gunshot wound to her stomach. Paramedics rushed her to the Lincoln Hospital in a critical condition, where she was declared dead shortly thereafter. The authorities said that Kaihara was visiting a nail salon along Fox Street with a friend when the shooter opened fire, targeting another man along the same stretch of road, but instead struck her in the abdomen. Kyra ran into the salon to escape the gunshots, holding her stomach in pain before passing out on the ground. The suspects were on the run, and the New York Police Department is offering up to $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. 33-year-old Laquanda Guillory has been arrested and charged with three counts of child cruelty after leaving her kids alone to sleep in a hot van overnight. The events unfolded on the 11th of May 2022, when the St. Landry Parish Sheriff's Office received a tip from Crime Stoppers of Acadia Parish that said that Laquanda was wanted in the area for three counts of child desertion and that she could be located at her home on the 4200 block of State Highway 357 in Opelousas, Louisiana. When officers arrived at the address, the door to the residence was open and no one was inside the home. However, a blue van was parked in the driveway. When the deputies looked inside the vehicle, a juvenile under the age of 12 and another child under the age of 7 were sleeping inside, while the outside temperature at the time was 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Deputies knocked on the window but they were unable to wake them. Deputies were then met by another child under the age of 11 who said they did not know the location of their mother. The officers awoke the juveniles and removed them from the vehicle and allowed them to sit in the back seat of the air-conditioned police car. All of the children were shaken with sweat dripping from their faces. They also had a strong body odour due to poor hygiene and their clothing appeared to be dirty and stained. While searching the home, the investigators noticed there was no electricity and they were met with a strong unclean odour from inside and it was determined that every room in the house was dirty. They found human waste in the bathroom sink. A window in one of the bedrooms was broken. The doors to the home were unable to be locked and there was leftover food sitting on the cabinets in the kitchen. When questioned by the deputies, the children said that their mother made them sleep in the van as there was no air conditioning inside the home while she slept elsewhere. They also said the mother returns in the morning to get them ready for school. One juvenile had been wearing the same school clothes since the start of the week. The kids were removed from the home and were transferred to a safety complex in town. That evening, Laquanda contacted the St. Landry Parish Sheriff's Office to report that when she arrived home, her children were not there. When questioned, Laquanda told the investigators that she had to go to the laundromat located within the city limits of Opelosis to clean the laundry. Laquanda was arrested and charged with three counts of cruelty to juveniles. She's held at the St. Landry Parish Jail with a bond set of $15,000.